Knowledge Building and Construction Through Web-Based Learning, a slidecast by Tara Humber in partial fulfillment of the Memorial University course, Education 6610, Researching Computers in the Curriculum. Knowledge Building and Construction Through Web-Based Learning can occur in a number of different educational settings. The initial design of e-learning environments or knowledge building communities must consider factors such as electronic tools for use by the participants such as mobile devices, synchronous or asynchronous software, e-tools for assessment, monitoring or building knowledge communities by the facilitator, participant skills in regards to technology and developing identity presence online, participants culture, when considering the learning environment, time constraints, and instructional methods. According to Lee, educational theories and instructional approaches regarding knowledge building and construction must carefully be reevaluated. Apply tools or frameworks such as those developed by Murphy to discern whether or not these apply to an online environment. Proper facilitation, motivation, and modeling allow for students to benefit from e-learning environments, the development of online knowledge building communities, the advancement of knowledge for all participants, educators, and students alike, individual knowledge construction, social knowledge construction or knowledge building, while reconsidering, assessing, and monitoring factors such as culture, instructional approaches, and design. Fifteen studies were selected from 12 peer-reviewed educational technology journals. To figure as part of the analysis, the journal sources had to include research participants or framework development. Keywords included knowledge building, knowledge construction, web-based, online, or e-learning. Other considerations included age of the studies, which ranged from 2006 to 2012 with one study from 1999 which was considered of value due to its focus, instructional approaches, learning environments, and e-tools. Subtopics include assessment, facilitation, and design. Methods. Consideration was given to study methods such as experimental or case study, research approach such as action research, participation, participant selection such as educational level, age, and cultural background, research setting, classroom and or online environment, data analysis, the form or forms employed for validity, and data collection, various methods were included. Content analysis was employed to develop coding schemes, discern patterns, themes, and similarities or differences. It was found that 12 of the studies focused on online synchronous or online asynchronous discussion as a means of constructing knowledge and or building an online community. Two studies focused on developing frameworks or coding schemes for assessing knowledge construction in online environments. It was found from the 15 article study that a pattern emerged. The pattern produced is linear with two cyclical areas embedded. Furthermore, the following themes were identified upon analysis. Online knowledge construction, individual online knowledge construction, online social knowledge construction or knowledge building, online knowledge building community, identity presence, cultural variation, facilitation, design of course and tools, instructional approaches, frameworks for assessment, and behavioral patterns. Design Online Knowledge Building Community Pattern. The pattern that developed is iterative, with the facilitator playing the key role in building maximum knowledge, social interactions, and developing and growing the online knowledge building community. The facilitator identifies behavior patterns that counteract online knowledge building communities. Then the facilitator must consider through interaction with the community from data if the flaws within the design, instructional approach, culture, identity, presence, and so forth, so that the growth of the online knowledge building community can occur and be maximized. 
correlations were found in relation to identity presence as follows. The greater the identity presence, the greater the individual knowledge construction, the greater the individual uh, sense of community, and the better the chance of developing a knowledge building community. Therefore, proper facilitation, mediation, and modeling is necessary in an ongoing monitoring manner with careful consideration as to the type of interaction necessary on the part of the instructor or designer in order to prompt identity presence and knowledge construction while simultaneously developing an online knowledge building community. Hence, the cyclical pattern is discerned. Together, online knowledge construction and online knowledge building communities produce online knowledge building according to how the sense of community affects knowledge building or the online social knowledge construction. Themes. Online knowledge construction. Online knowledge construction refers to increasing knowledge around a particular phenomenon, idea, or subject, as well as the levels of knowledge reach such as those defined by Piaget, but with the impact of technology. This theme occurs in all studies to some degree or another. Online knowledge construction breaks down into individual online knowledge construction and online social knowledge construction or knowledge building. Building individual online knowledge construction requires skills, learning environment, e-discussion tools, instructional approach, facilitation, and monitoring. Online Knowledge Building Online knowledge building is a shared building or social constructing of knowledge. Online knowledge building requires individual online knowledge construction along with online social interactions. Proper facilitation of individual online knowledge construction increases identity presence. With proper facilitation in safe communities, in small or whole group settings, increased identity presence in online social interaction furthers uh, online knowledge building. Online Knowledge Building Community Online Knowledge Building Community The online knowledge building community includes everyone who, through social interaction in an online environment, are working on a particular topic or solving a particular problem within a group, including the facilitator, whether it be a teaching learning community or a knowledge building community. Lee states that an online knowledge building community requires social interaction, collaboration, social knowledge construction in an online environment. Online knowledge building communities must be contained on a knowledge building system. A knowledge building community is a commitment among members to upgrade collective knowledge. These communities are participant or learner centered in small group problem solving with a teacher as learner. Facilitator aims at increasing the in identity presence and social interactions within safe communities, furthering social knowledge construction, and in turn enhancing the knowledge building community. Tweedle Livingston suggests that communities may not form through knowledge building, but uh, it will not con occur if there's no commitment by participants or mentoring by the facilitator. Course design. Design must consider a number of factors, particularly participant skills and their cultural background. Frameworks or models are utilized to determine the best learning environment type considering participants and tools. Time sensitivity considerations for participants such as asynchronous or synchronous learning. Data collection tools for assessment of participants' knowledge construction and community building. Course workload must be suitable. Assessment tools reflect the needs of the facilitator and designer. 
new pedagogies need to be developed or derived from current pedagogies, technology type or e-learning tools to be used such as mobile or online. Facilitation occurs using the tools associated with the design. E-Tool Design Tools range from software for forums, asynchronous, to instant messaging, synchronous, to data collecting and housing, to data assessment and management, and to knowledge building community systems. These tools are being built to keep up with the new technologies such as mobile devices and new ways of learning. They can make communication more effective and house and analyze the data in turn, aiding facilitation and course design. One such technology is Knowledge Forum. Frameworks. All studies consider the importance of either the formation of a framework for assessment such as those developed by Seddon, or development of a framework such as Murphy for the assessment of online metacognitive knowledge. Frameworks and models inform course design, e-tool design, instructional approach, assessment of online construction, individual and social, assessment of online knowledge building communities. Facilitation. The facilitator plays an important role, more so for some cultures than others. The point of contact within the discussion should be carefully considered by the facilitator. Facilitation is informed by data collected from student work, e-tools for analysis, student interactions, and student feedback. The facilitator monitors workload and discussion quality and considers cultural variants, instructional approaches, all to improve knowledge construction, skills, and identity presence. are key to modifying behavior and providing positive online self and community. Identification of behavioral patterns using frameworks and e-tools by facilitators in real time or from data collected allows for modifications that may improve knowledge construction, knowledge building, and the knowledge building community. Negative behaviors may occur due to lack of knowledge, appropriate modeling, scaffolding, workload, software learning curve, promotion of identity presence by the facilitator, course design, or other factors. After assessing the situation, instructional methods may be employed to avert discussion toward a more positive online knowledge building community. Instructional approach. Instructional approaches for e-learning environments must consider the course design which is the framework in which the course is taught. Culture variants, skills and backgrounds of the participants. Time sensitivity, such as synchronous, asynchronous, or blended learning approaches. E-pedagogies and traditional approaches, which must be carefully considered and redesigned. E-tools, such as mobile versus non-mobile devices. Software for assessment medium for collaboration, data collection, and so on. Discussion. There are a number of factors that require thought when designing an e-course, blended or an e-learning environment, or associated e-tools. E-pedagogies look to possible instructional approaches that lead to and enhance an online knowledge construction and online knowledge building. Cultural authenticity affect the design of a course or tools that allow for maximum online building of knowledge. Technology type to be used, such as mobile or online. Environment type and time sensitivity issues for participants. Work overload, which can cause destructive behaviors, such as dissension, decreased knowledge construction, and increased dropout rate as well as deter knowledge building communities from forming. Models or frameworks must be considered, and the ultimate goal to which the design is focused, 
such as knowledge construction, knowledge building, or a knowledge building community. The facilitator modern, monitors behavior patterns and uses electronic tools, assessment, data collection, and other tools as those tested by Hal and Tumlin, which may determine the intervention necessary. These tools may all be contained within one piece of software. The facilitator considers cultural context, and facilitation must aid in filling in any lag in online community development. The facilitator modifies approaches, workload, and behavior, and promotes identity presence to correct behaviors that deviate from knowledge construction and online knowledge building communities to enhance overall knowledge construction. The facilitator works to improve these three areas. Online knowledge construction can be identified in two parts, individual knowledge construction and social knowledge construction. Individual online knowledge construction can be assessed through the use of online or mobile technologies. These e-tools allow for communication between students and instructors, allowing for the facilitation of online social knowledge building. Data storage and analysis with assistance from the program allows for proper facilitation. Software may be used by the facilitator to assess the levels of knowledge construction. Software may be used to identify social knowledge building and facilitate online knowledge building community development. Online pedagogies must be developed to allow for the facilitation support and enhancement of online knowledge construction. Online pedagogies must provide facilitators with the necessary knowledge to recognize behavior patterns and know when and where to intervene in order to maximize knowledge construction. Online knowledge building is the building or constructing of knowledge as an online group or whole online community. The greater the construction of knowledge of the individual, along with presence of identity, community safety, and interactions that demonstrate these higher order thoughts, then the greater the online knowledge building or online social knowledge construction. Conclusion in order to create an online knowledge building community that promotes maximum online knowledge construction, designers and facilitators look to previous instructional approaches, design, and e-pedagogies. Models and frameworks for e-course design and for the assessment of online knowledge construction and online knowledge building community are used to aid in the design and facilitation project process, such as those proffered by Murphy. While the designer and facilitator are both part of the design, online knowledge building community pattern, each is contained in its own cycle at different places within this pattern. The facilitator is the key to a successful e-learning environment. Proper modeling, scaffolding, questioning, and so forth at the appropriate time may deter dysfunctional interactions within a group. Positive, safe interactions and proper facilitation can draw out identity increasing overall knowledge construction and knowledge building community growth. Identity presence is the foundation on which online knowledge building communities are built. The pattern derived from this analysis shows the interdependence and cyclical nature of online knowledge construction and online knowledge building community growth. Implications Further research into motivation and e-tool development would benefit the online learning community. Looking into intrinsic and extrinsic motivators, such as identity, presence, community, and instructional approaches, may affect the overall knowledge building and online knowledge building community. E-tool development such as systems that can determine intervention points for facilitators would benefit both facilitators and participants. Limitations. Limitations include the following. Not all studies contain participants or appropriate keywords. 
due to the broad scope of this analysis, a pattern emerged that would not have been discovered otherwise. However, a larger set of studies may prove further validity to conclusions drawn and patterns derived. A more focused study may provide further insight. Reference.